What's up, good people? Your boy is back. The, say it with me, the unapologetic notorious. A smile, and welcome back to Inconspicuous Thoughts. Here, we have fun. We critique, we make fun, we do a little bit of everything. But people, calm down, don't take it too serious. I mean, it's just me having fun, doing some funny commentary of videos. I mean, most of the people that are in these videos, hell, they probably make fun of themselves just like I do in my own damn life. I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, then you can't laugh at nothing. But hey, I want to thank everybody for the love and support they've been showing your boy. They've been liking, been commenting, and definitely been running those views up. Definitely need more subscribers though, baby. But hey, it'll come in time and your boy is patient. A little bit. I needs it, I wants it, and I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, enough of the nitwit stuff on my end, but hey, today, got a good video. I was sitting there thinking of videos I would love to sit back and just react to, look at. And I was thinking, man, what about a video critiquing the worst to the best stadiums? Whether it be the NFL, whether it be MLB, whether it be NBA slash NHL, because they play in a lot of the same stadiums. So what do we have up here first today? Where we have all 30 NFL teams ranked stadiums ranked from worst to first. And this comes for you from TPS. They have over 1.21 million subscribers. Damn! That sounds so lovely. One day. One day. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to NFL stadiums, you know, uh, I've been to a couple of myself. Obviously, I'm in Indiana, so I've been to a... Uh, uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. Lucas Oil Stadium is very, very nice. It's one of the best stadiums uh, that I've ever been in. Uh, I've also been in a stadium in uh, Cincinnati. I forgot the name that they changed it to, but it was called Paul Brown Stadium. So hopefully they'll have the updated name in here. Uh, obviously, Soldier Phil. <clears throat> I stated that my son is a avid Chicago Bears fan. So we've been there. A lot. I've been there twice. My son's been there three times. I wasn't able to go last year, but we are going this year. We're going to a preseason game because uh, that's like the only tickets I can afford. But those regular seasons, boy, they want your firstborn. So I guess I'll drop him off and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in the comments, guys, let me know what NFL stadiums you've been to and uh, what do you think the best stadium is or the worst. So, uh, no more talk. Let's just get it going. You know, let's let's just get this video going so we can see what they determine the worst to the best is. Let's get it. Not every facility is state of the art. The oh. railing crashed, almost oh, taking out yeah, Jalen Hurts. I remember Multiple that. Multiple fans that was nuts. falling nine feet <laughs> down an, uh, onto the ground at FedEx uh, Field. Yeah, FedEx Field. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of the stadium. I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be the worst. There are more than a couple of stinkers that NFL teams still play in every Sunday. <laughs> Let's take a look at our rankings for every NFL stadium from worst to first. Number 30, FedEx Field. Oh, there it FedEx is. FedEx Field is a pretty easy choice when it comes to the bottom of the bottom of NFL stadiums. Mm. Not only has the field proven repeatedly to be a death trap for home and away players Damn, alike, look at all but those injuries. seen the stadium itself take yep, a stab at go. injuring players. When it came crashing down, it nearly <gasps> avalanche on the Jalen Hurts last season. I went it to isn't a just game that and got injured, and I wasn't even a DC player. Either. A couple of years <laughs> back, we saw fans end up in harm's way after a sewage pipe burst. Wow. <laughs> Number 29, oh, Paycor there it is. Stadium. Paycor Stadium Paycon is yet Stadium? another Paycor? obvious example of the Bengals' general incompetence. In mm. fact, the field was just called out by the NFLPA for being unsafe, and the union really? is now demanding an immediate replacement. Funny Paycor is, is one of seven stadium NFL stadiums that still use slit stadium. film turf, which reportedly has statistically higher in-game injury rates than all other surfaces. Beyond that, the stadium simply leaves much to be desired. Number mm. 28, Bank of America Stadium. 
Not too dissimilarly from Paycor, Bank of America Stadium, home of the Carolina Panthers, was built back in 1996. And though yeah. they have done a couple of iterations of renovations over the years, there is clearly something missing. And considering the Panthers were founded in 96 themselves and haven't done all that much winning in the time since, this isn't exactly a stadium that is dripping with history. The only real positive is that it's actually well located within the city of Charlotte. So hey, it's at least fairly accessible. Number 27. MetLife Stadium. MetLife Stadium. Though MetLife is a beneficiary of recent construction new, and features a lot of desirable a amenities having been built stadium. in 2010, it has to be pretty low on this list for all the things that oh, it is not. Turf. It is not in Manhattan proper, where the proposed Westside Stadium would have been located. It does not have a roof, retractable mm. or otherwise, which, considering the stadium is still in the Northeast, would have been pretty useful. And honestly, it lacks any real personality or vision. It's about as bland as... Now, this is another thing. I always thought it was weird that both New York teams are not even in the state of New York. They're in New Jersey. Uh, the Buffalo Bills are in New York. And I know they're going through their uh, uh, thing of uh, working with the city to get their new stadium built. Um, now, what do y'all think about um, owners who are billionaires and they're using taxpayers' dollars to get new stadiums built? I mean... I know there's a lot of people that will look at it in sense of the political side. I'm not looking at it in the political side at all. I'm looking at it as you're a billionaire. You're asking everybody, you know, the hardworking people of that particular area to pay for a new stadium. And most of them will never even go into the building. So let me know what y'all think about that. But uh, it's just weird to me that both New York teams are not even in the state of New York. but. Uh, they share that stadium, so I've As always thought that was can a weird get. One. So for that reason, we are out on MetLife Stadium, especially when you consider <laughs> it is jointly owned by the Jets and Giants. With all those resources, you would have thought they could have built an awesome stadium. But alas, we have a big old mess of meh. That's as many knee injuries and ankle stuff and people getting caught on a turf as I've ever been a part of. Um, from mm. what I saw, the other team did too. Um, I know our players talked about it the entire game, just how sticky the turf was. And um, with I think that was the first time people Sticks. played on it, I think. Um, but yeah, it was um, something our guys were concerned about right away. And the results definitely made that a lot stronger. And um, unfortunately, it's a place we got to go back to next week. Number 26, Highmark Stadium. Wow. Moving on to the real New York team, the Bills. The real New York team. Western New York <laughs> play their games at one of the biggest dumps in the league, Highmark wow. Stadium. Look at that. Oh, Highmark. Not much like the franchise that lives there and its fan base, Highmark is loaded with character, excitement, and vibes. Not to mention one of the most epic tailgating scenes in the entire country, let alone the NFL. Oh. Otherwise, it would be way lower on this they list. Got, Number 25, got, uh, TIAA Bank Field. TIAA Bank Field stadium. is fighting an uphill battle existing in Jacksonville, which, let's face oh, it, Jackson isn't exactly Jaguars, first yeah. city material, but isn't quite as bad as the tarps that used But that's another team that's uh, looking at a renovation right now. Uh, I think they were looking at about $1.2 billion or $2 billion uh, that they can renovate the existing stadium or build something new. Now, me personally, I feel like Jacksonville, that's a, a area where they probably need to invest in their team because the general area is not the greatest at all. Now, I'm not from Jacksonville. I'm sorry. I'm not trashing you. I'm just saying the market. You know, you got a major NFL team, and uh, if they fix the stadium, you guys can get a Super Bowl. So just imagine what that would do to your area. I mean, people here in Indy, definitely Indianapolis, they have been working hard for year after year after year trying to get the Super Bowl back here. And, uh, of course, people say, well, it's cold weather climate. Listen, miss me with all that BS. It's a dome, all right? So the game's not going to be inter interfered at all. So. Uh, and of course, Chicago is working on their stadium uh, deal in sense of uh, getting a new stadium. So can you imagine a Super Bowl in Chicago? Because here in Indianapolis, it was money. Uh, I didn't really participate with anything that weekend, but I have a lot of friends who did. Uh, a lot of wrestling promotions held shows that weekend uh, because there's a lot of out-of-towners coming in for entertainment. And I just feel like the more the city puts into the general area, it really is good to have your NFL team have a pretty good stadium, uh, definitely to present for the Super Bowl. So when it comes to Jacksonville, even Buffalo Bills, uh, their stadium looks like 
a D2 college team stadium. <laughs> it's easy for me to say because I'm not a rich man, but it just looks weird. I'm like, their stadium, even though it is smaller than what it is in Ball State, but still, damn, Ball State Stadium. I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling, but whatever. To cover the upper bowl like because the Jacks could draw fans team, might indicate. That being said, it's still best known for having a pool. And <laughs> that's pool. pretty much it. It's got a pool. Number 24, Hard Rock Stadium. Okay, now the Dolphins home field Dolphin should stadium. have a location on its side. It's actually kind of a knock on Hard Rock, as it's really in the middle of nowhere. But it isn't the Jeez, worst place to catch a game, lot. as evidenced by it having Dodger hosted stadium. six Super Bowls. Number 23, oh. Soldier Field. <laughs> Soldier Field, like Highmark, unfortunately is in grave. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I mean, not really. I was at the stadium. Like I said, I've been there twice. Uh, you could just see how they uh, renovated it from the old Soldier Phil or stadium. And there's gaps in between. Like, they got gates put up. Um, but uh, we're going to go there later this year, and I'm going to do a blog on there. Me and my son and my two grand uh, sons are going to go to a game. So I'm definitely going to blog on that, and I'll even show you how it's weird. Now, if you've been there, if there is any Chicago Bears fans or just fans in general who's been at the stadium, definitely put in the comments. Let everybody know your experience with that stadium or any stadium. But I just feel like the stadium, man, representing the market, I mean, it's Chicago. You know, I don't know if Chicago's the second biggest sports market in the United States. I mean, it's not bigger than New York, but for the market, man. The Bears should have a stadium pushing like damn near 90,000 fans, and I bet you they could sell it out every year, man. It's just the need too of an good upgrade, of an organization. or frankly, a replacement. It's home to some of the best NFL fans around, yep, but the Bears go. need a modern upgrade. Yes, they've done some renovations, but mm -hmm. let's face it ground originally broke in 1922, yeah. and no band aid solution is going to change that. Number 22, Ford Field. Ford, Ford Field. Field gets some bonus points for being one of the few Midwestern franchises okay. to relinquish its Nordic roots yeah, and project the idea of playing and watching football outdoors during Indy. the brutal winters that the region is known for. It also oh, has some pretty awesome skylights and a large Russell, glass window at the uh, open WWE event, event, which lets in a sizable in amount of natural light. Stadium. You know, on the off chance that it isn't gloomy and gray out. Number 21, NRG Stadium. Okay. The Texans opened the NRG Texans stadium, stadium in 2002, and it has the unique distinction of having been built not just to the specifications of an NFL field, but also the rodeo, which the venue regularly hosts. It also gets bonus points for being one of the surprisingly rodeo. few stadiums to have a retractable roof, which to me feels like a no-brainer for anyone building a new stadium at this point. Number 20, First Energy Stadium. First Energy Stadium, though outside, has a high-end heating system that prevents the field from freezing in the cold Cleveland oh, weather. No, that and some nice bells and whistles in 2014, including oh, a massive okay, scoreboard, okay. but that was not without sacrifice. As one of the most diehard bleacher sections in all the NFL, the dog pound was shrunk in the process. Number 19, Gillette Stadium. There have been some big nah, games played at Gillette the over the last 20 stadium. years, and the atmosphere is top notch. There aren't too many bad <laughs> seats in the house, but getting one of those seats regardless is notorious. Okay, and that's another thing. Do you think it, you think the fan base of the Patriots, uh, because, you know, think about it, they won so many championships, and now... They're on the hard side now. The, you know, they're on the losing side of things. Do you think in the back of their mind or they're so spalled with all the winning they've done so long that now it's let's complain about every little thing? I'm not going to lie to you. I am a Chicago Bulls fan. And the Bulls have been good a couple of times since the Jordan era. You know, Jordan, Scottie Pippen era. And you just got to be patient. It sucks, but you got to be patient. But um, Listen, just, just just support your team. You know, don't just put a jersey on and then say, hey, my team is the shit. And as soon as they shit, you want to throw it at them. <laughs> but uh, what I mean by that is everyone's trying their best. Any given Sunday or hell, whatever their schedules are now, they play Thursday night games. They go out there, they do their best, they try their hardest, but I swear to God, sports fans, uh, especially when they play fantasy football, but sports fans, God, you guys complain about so much when most of you can't even do what they do on the field or the court or the pitch, wherever, or the diamond. 
just support your team. Win, lose, or draw. Just support your team. And again, rambling, but I just always find it interesting when I see like uh, fan bases act a certain way because a team like the Patriots who won so many damn times in Super Bowls and now they're like, our team sucks. Hmm. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Previously expensive, even by NFL standards. It does, however, feel a bit tacky at times because of the massive retail expansion that the team implemented in and around the stadium itself. Number 18, M&T Bank Stadium. There's something That's awesome about cities right? that position multiple sporting venues in the same neighborhood. It just sort of adds to the atmosphere. M&T Bank Stadium yeah. also has excellent amenities for the fans, and because of its locations, it's easily accessible. Baltimore also gets brownie points for having a beautiful natural grass playing surface. Number but, 17, Nissan Stadium. Yeah. The Titans, They're also getting a new to stadium credit, too. have a they very a lovely natural playing uh, surface in Nissan agreement. Stadium. And doing so, so in Nashville is no small stadium. feat. The local climate plus the wear and tear of NFL Nashville. action often results in the field needing to be yeah, resodded a, between a the hashes top, so nearly every week. And the pedestrian Nashville bridge soon. that connects to downtown is an awesome feature. Number 16, Lincoln Financial Field. The no Link, field. what a place to catch the a Eagles. game. There are few places that can match the intensity See, now you know. His Lincoln tone Lincoln is starting to change. He's starting Sunday. to get to the good stuff. But I can't in good now. conscience <laughs> recommend a visit. As opposing fans are oh always goodness. treated with the decent That boy has seen hard Raiders times and a lot of Number losses. 15, Raymond James Stadium. <laughs> ah, Raymond James Stadium. Mm. The only NFL venue boasting a massive pirate ship. The seating leaves up little to be desired, but with the Florida weather, yeah. it is a great place to catch a game, especially when the Bucks are good. The Tampa Bay fans know how to bring the Bucks intensity. In addition to the pirate ship, the Buccaneer cover in the um, north end zone has a nice two-story oh, fishing village facade, complete with concessions and restrooms. Nice. Number 14, right State Farm Stadium. The Arizona Cardinals' home has the unique distinction of being the first retractable roof ever built on an incline, that. which, hey, that's pretty cool and useful considering the immense desert heat that needs keeping out. Number 13, Levi Stadium. Levi's Stadium, Stadium features a beautiful be natural nine grass nine field, and it fits approximately two-thirds of its 68,500-person capacity in the lower bowl of the stadium, which is absolutely unheard of. This makes the stadium significantly more accessible and improves seating options for fans across the board. Number 12, Lucas mm, Oil Stadium. Lucas Oil. Lucas Oil Stadium is one of the best- I feel like that should be in the top 10. I'm sorry. In because of the large-scale I mean, events that are hosted there, one of the coolest features of the stadium is really the retractable nice. north window that offers a beautiful view of downtown Indy. Number 11, Empower Field at Mile High. Denver has some of the best fans in the league, and it's a great place to see a game, especially since the $30 million renovation project that they completed ahead of the 2013 season, which added a massive mm. HD LED video say triple the yet. size of its predecessor. So trying to say Arrowhead Number is better? Caesars Superdome. The Though Lucas it is at the sparkly okay. new stadium it once was, the Superdome is still one of the coolest places to see mm. an NFL game. That yes, it has a long way to go if it wants to keep good. up with the Joneses, but between the atmosphere on game day and being walkable from the French Quarter of New Orleans, we had to keep it in the top 10. Number 9, Acrisure Stadium. Though Acrisure Stadium doesn't have the same ring to it that Heinz Field does, the stadium oh. is still top notch. It has aged like a fine wine in the 20 plus years since. And that's another thing. Why did they drop the Heinz name? I mean, I understand money is money, but man, you look at the, the lineage and uh, the legacy of the Steelers organization. I mean, I would have, I don't know. I would have guessed probably I would have said like Himes Phil and kept that still on the field or something. And then name the, give the stadium rights. I just, sometimes I just feel like you just need to stay with what everybody knows, but I know naming rights and pro sports is a big deal now to get a name on your stadium. But what do y'all think of that? Should have stayed Hinesville? Because when they said the name, I didn't even know the hell he was talking about. <laughs> it opened, and the Steelers fans know how to bring the heat. Number eight, AT&T Stadium. Okay. Jerry's World. This one speaks for itself. Jerry wanted to build oh boy, a venue Jonathan. that was top of the line, and he did just that. Cowboy Everything fan. in and around is top notch. It would be higher if they could only figure out how to nip that nasty glare problem they experienced during some afternoon games. Number seven, SoFi Stadium. Wow, hold on. SoFi hold on, looks hold on, and hold feels. Hold on, hold on, hold on. SoFi Stadium is one of the best looking stadiums. And you're going to say, I haven't seen uh, Arrowhead yet. 
Uh, obviously, Green Bay Stadium's going. What is that one? Uh, I I'm drawing a blank, but it'll come up here soon. Uh, obviously, Minnesota's got a very nice uh, building there. I'm just like. So far, it's so beautiful. Why is that not in the top five? So, this top six is about to be questionable, man. This top six is about to Those be exactly how you'd want a stadium that cost five point five billion dollars to look and feel. The concourse billion. is sparkling oh in a way goodness. that seems scientifically impossible when you consider the foot traffic that goes through that place on a weekly basis. And it doesn't hurt that the facility is built in beautiful Los I'm Angeles. The next stadium six, look good. Allegiant oh, Stadium. I forgot about Allegiant that. Stadium gets a slight Allegiant. nod over South High, Allegiant? primarily because Allegiant. while it is, it is not that same base. Yeah, feel, that's a, that's there are a nice still looking stadium. More fans I, I that actually all care about the games like, being played you know, the there. So far, Allegiance like, is ridiculously man. nice as well. It is a bit touristy, which look. shouldn't come as a surprise considering it is in Las the Vegas. Is be and the concessions year. will cost you a small fortune. But if you want a comfortable home, all right, football, so that's number six. So what's Allegiance the top five stadiums? a stadium. great place to catch a game. Number five, Lambeau Field. Lambeau Field. Lambo feel. Hmm. <laughs> wow. I mean. Hmm. I don't know if Lambo plays to catch a game. Number That's five, Lambo feel. Don't see it. So, this one is admittedly a bit of a formality. Obviously, Lambeau <laughs> Field doesn't have the same shine that some of the more modern stadiums do, but it is still impossible to drop the historic venue out of the top five. There have been so many legendary NFL moments on those grounds, and the team has done well to keep it just modern enough that it doesn't fall into the good vibes, bad stadium bucket like Highmark. Number four, U.S. Bank Stadium. Mm. The Vikings have gotten a major wow, upgrade with U.S. Bank the Stadium three compared to here, its man. former I dudes, still the seen, Metro uh, Dome. The coolest part of the stadium new, um, has to be the glass ceiling Falcons that makes the facility field all-encompassing. And of course, it has all the bells so and whistles that you'd want so from a new Chiefs. stadium. Number three, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So that's Between the stadium and facilities stadium. and the fan-friendly concession pricing, there is not much to complain about stadium-wise down in Atlanta. It is a world-class venue that regularly holds major events in addition to Falcons home games. Not only does it have all the luxuries that its big spenders want, but it has a few creative features for us regular fans. Mm. And they even Look redeveloped the land outside the stadium where the old Georgia Dome once stood, turning it into the Home Depot backyard which acts as an 11-acre <laughs> tailgating area. Backyard, Number two, sponsorship. Lumen Field. Oh. Lumen Field so has twice claimed the Guinness World Record for loudest crowd attention. noise at an outdoor stadium. That was back when the Seahawks stadium. and the Legion of Boom reigned supreme in the NFL. But hey, even <sighs> now, this stadium still gets two, pretty though. raucous. It's so also built into a robust event center, which is home to the Washington Music Theater. Number one, whoa, whoa. GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. It simply does not get any better than Arrowhead Stadium, at least according to our advanced analytics that cross reference. Did I miss something? Maybe I was talking. I probably saw it and then blocked it in my head. What the hell? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pay attention. I, yeah, it made it number seven. I think it was number seven. Oh, my God. Let me go back here. Wow. Where is it? Hmm. Arrowhead is the best stadium in the NFL. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that, that brought the stadium fully into the present day. But which NFL stadium do you think is the worst? And which one do you think is the best? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that list, but again, he put it together. Uh, he probably did it that way to spark some controversy and some outrage. <laughs> That's what you do. Uh... Where did I miss what you call a stadium at? Oh my goodness. I just, I'm lost. That's, that's, how is that the number one stadium? 
Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. It came in at number four. U.S. Bank Stadium. Yeah. No, I don't agree with that. I feel like you're trying to tell me that Arrowhead is better than SoFi or U.S. Bank Stadium or even Lucas Oil or even Cowboy Stadium was the AT&T Stadium. I don't know about that. But then again, he's probably a Chief fan and he's been, he experienced the atmosphere. Of the building, so he definitely knows uh, what that crowd brings and the noise and seeing the field, the players on the field. Okay, now me personally, I'm never. I'm only going to speak on the stadiums I've been in, and I've only been in three stadiums. So, like I said, Lucas Oil. You know, I've been in Paul Brown. Forgot the name of the stadium now. That's uh, the Bengals. Been to Soldier Field, the Bears, and of course. Um, uh, the Colts Stadium, Lucas Oil. And Lucas Oil is absolutely beautiful. It's got that that field house feel to it, sort of like uh, all the basketball arenas here in Indiana. So it's got that old school field house feel, you know, sense of the piping and all that stuff to be at the top of the building. Uh, it's got a lot of setups. Like when I went there with a with my friend, my son in law, and my son. We ran into the Crown Royal room. They have a bar in there, sells Crown Royal, and it's also the stage. People are performing at this. And I'm like, this is a city inside of a city. <laughs> so the atmosphere was absolutely wonderful. So now that's just my take. Uh, I've not been in too many NFL stadiums, not even too many NBA stadiums. I've never been to a Major League Baseball game. So uh never been to a... Uh, uh, NHL game either. I've been to semi-pro hockey like Indy Ice here in uh, Indiana. But uh, again, guys, this is the beauty of uh, just watching these videos and reacting to it. I know I was all over the place. I apologize. Uh, I lost my train of thought and it was uh, number four. But uh, wow. Okay, so he gave it to the old school stadiums, which I'm fine with. But I, I just don't see it. But again... This is why people put content up because they want to spark conversation and discussion. And I'm telling you, that's definitely going to be a big discussion that uh, Arrowhead Stadium is number one based off this uh, particular uh, uh, content creator. But again, the link to this video will be in the description. So you guys can also click and look at a lot of their other content. And hey, if you haven't, like I said, hit that comment, hit not comment, sorry, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button too. And comment. Don't be afraid to voice your opinion. I will not trash your opinion. I'll reply to it. I still got a lot of people to reply to in my other videos. Um, and if I don't, other uh, people will comment on it as well. Let's just have a discussion, people. We don't have to agree on everything, but we can agree on it's just our opinion. Let's just have fun, baby. <laughs> I know this wasn't one of my normal videos of laughing making fun of stuff like that this is the kind of stuff i'm going to be doing where i'll be going from stuff to make you laugh to stuff that'll make you go question like really and this definitely got me scratching my head like i don't i don't agree with it but that doesn't mean i won't agree with it it just means i feel like <sighs> man i just feel like uh that stadium in minnesota is that's a beautiful stadium and sofi stadium is so beautiful i would love to go one day uh especially the raider stadium as well but anyway Go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, like I said, help your boy out. Help help me, your boy, reach 5,000K subscribers. That's my goal right now. Hit that share button. Share me with all your friends and family members and say, hey, there's this guy on YouTube by the name of the Unapologetic Notorious, and he's pretty good. Well, I like to think I am. But, hey, if you haven't heard it from anybody in your life today, you hear from me first. Always stay humble and kind. Throw it up, baby. Love. <laughs>